What it is, two time game. A hey, And we're here with a banger today, but today I got something different. I got story time. And today, story time, I'm gonna be talking about how my beef with Fulio starts. Yeah, like the burger. Yeah. They put pickles on my fucking burger? Bro, ain't no fucking way, dog. Ain't no fucking way, bro. And they ain't put cheese in my... Bro, these motherfuckers don't listen, dog. I wanted a plain hamburger, y'all. I wanted straight beef. Like I wanted with Fulio. Fuck you talking about. Make sure y'all hit that like button. That subscribe button. And comment and tell me about how you feel or whatever I say. Because I don't give a fuck. I'm open to all comments. And I'm ready to get on anybody to ask you got who feels away about what I said. All right. I just want to a pickle. Y'all just want me to take the pickles off the burger. That be what high? I ain't put my burger. Oh, it's from the table. All right, listen. So, boom. Jacksonville, Florida. Where's Jack? Commonwealth. In the video. It's since 2000, goddamn 13. So, at this time, Julio, he hanging with a bunch of people. Me, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm focusing on my dream of playing football. 2013. I don't know how old I was. Maybe I was about. It's 2023 and I'm 25. So maybe I was about 15 at the time. 14, 15 at the time, right? Boom. So how I set up? It's like the house. His house sat behind mine. This is how my house sit. Then it's a backyard. Then it's the street. And then there's another row of houses that sit back there. So if I walk out my backyard and into the street, I'm in front of everybody else's houses. But you know, they got their gates and shit. So I'm in the backyard and shit, lifting weights and shit, you know, curling and shit. And then I, then I remind you, my brother had Jill went in the house. My big brother had Jill went. He had Jill went in the house, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm out there lifting weight. I think I was, I was curling at the time. Like 225s on each side. I mean, 125 on each side. I was curling, so goddamn, Fulio, him, I want to say him, maybe Kendra, uh, the nigga Rick, the nigga Jarbo, um, it was some big light skin ass nigga, I don't know, ugly ass, stupid looking ass nigga, um, I think it was that nigga Bell from Dre Block, and it was a couple other, it was like one or two more, I don't know, but I know goddamn, it was just little nigga. One of them was a little nigga. Um, he got that. Was it Kendra? It might have been Kendra. It might have been Kendra that said that shit. I don't know, man. It was one of them. But goddamn, he they walked by, right? So they looking at me and I'm looking at them. I don't get no fuck. You feel me? I'm staring at them like, what y'all on? What I'm on? But I ain't saying nothing. They ain't saying nothing. So next thing you know, they walk past me, you know, because my gate about so big. Everything about so motherfucking big got you. So like you walk, they walk by. Next thing you know, another little nigga. The next thing you know, one one of the little niggas come back like, "What? What you said?" I said, "What?" He said, "What you said?" I said, "I ain't said nothing." What you talking? About? He said, "My eye." Right. I said, "All right, fuck you mean?" Like he said, "My what you mean?" All right, okay. I said, "All right." So them motherfuckers. Well, yeah, he was like, "All right, we'll be back." That's what he said. He was like, "I ain't said nothing." What fuck you mean? And he was like, "Oh, all right." I was like, "Oh, all right." What you talking about? He was like, "We'll be back." I said, "Okay." Fuck you talking? About? So boom. They got down walk off. It was like I said about seven, eight of them, bro. They got down walk off. Need I remind you at the time I didn't know who the I didn't know who these niggas was, but I didn't know none of them. I didn't know who who, who the fuck uh Fulio was or Charles Jones or, or goddamn who these niggas was. But as I re as I um got a tour with them, you know that I recall and I remember who people was because you know what I'm saying? Nah, now you know, now everybody day everybody know who everybody is. So then you can put pictures on people because the shit done, that don't went down. But back then, I didn't know who them niggas was. You feel me? I didn't follow them on no Facebook and shit like that. So, boom. Them boys come back. And they come back ready to fight. Type shit. You feel me? So, let me see this. So, before they even came back, I went straight in the house and told my mom. Them. I told my mom, like, what was going on? I'm like, hey. You're like, I don't know these dudes, but it was like seven to eight dudes just walked by. I was out there working out. I ain't said shit to them. And then he told he went on at me like, 
what I said, and I was like, I ain't said nothing. He talking about, all right, so I said, all right, too, fucking me. And he talking about they'll be back, so they, I guess they probably be coming back. That's what I told my, my dudes. So, goddamn, she like, what you mean they said they'll be back? I'm like, they said they'll be back. Like, that's what they said, bro. So whatever they want to do, like, we finna do this. I think we finna get ready to fight. So she was like, okay, say that. I'm gonna do this, don't give a fuck. When they get, when they go to that, like, about, about her kids, a period, my mama, mama don't give a fuck. My dad don't give a fuck. Like, they don't give a fuck, nigga. So they like, all right, I'm finna call your cousin. I'm finna call your cousin right now. So I ain't gonna lie, I don't fuck with him, nah. But at the time, I did fuck with him, so. And he, his bitch ass ran all the way there, so I give him that. So at the time, at the house, it was just my, it was me, I think it was my little brother, or my sister, and my big brother. And just like four of us. So I called my, my, my god brother Daniel. He was staying, he was staying down the street at Hollybrook at the time. It, anybody that ever know the video, you know how, how shit is. You know Hollybrook at, I ain't even gonna go into detail, but it's it literally probably like around the corner, maybe 15, 30 minute walk. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I'm gonna say 30, like a 30 minute walk, bro. And it's like, got that 15 minute drive type shit. You feel me? So, everybody got them. You know what I'm talking about? You know what the fuck Hollybrook is. So, boom. I called Danny. That way he was staying at the time. He he ran all the way from goddamn Hollybrook. I think he got there like at 15 minutes. He got there like two minutes right before the nigga showed up, right around the motherfucking corner. All right? My mama called my cousin, my mom, you know. I'm like, okay. All right, for sure. We on the way. Boom. So before Mike Mike and them get there, free Mike Mike, by the way, that my cousin. Goddamn, before Mike Mike get there, these niggas make it back. So I'm like, I, cause we were already outside. Like we have, we I already told my was like seven, eight of these ugly ass, dumb ass, goofy ass niggas. Like we not gonna see him play with y'all. So we had got some baseball bats and shit. Like we put a bat shot these niggas heads, bro. Like we ain't get no fuck, bro. Like everybody. Everybody, I mean everybody, everybody, brother, me, my sister, my little brother, and my goddamn um big brother, all of us got had, got had goddamn baseball bat or some type of log or some shit and I had with the whack nigga. So goddamn literally as soon as they get close to my backyard, cause remember I told you that my backyard already uh lead to the back street, and I told you that they was on the back street. So when they came back. Cause they went around the corner, I want to say, on the business area type shit. When they came back from Commonwealth, um, what you gonna call it? Fulio, leader, leader of their ass, leading all the dummies like he been doing. Uh, goddamn, bought them all back. And before he can even, like, uh, goddamn, before, I'm tripping, before I can even goddamn come out there and slap the shot at that, his mama jumping away. Like, his mama completely, I don't know, like, if he told her what was going on. Uh, she heard the commotion or some shit. Uh, like, you know, she was already getting ready to leave or some shit because she had all her nursing fit. I don't know what she was finna do, but I know as soon as, bro, uh, maybe she saw the nigga walking down the street. Like I said, I don't know what she was finna do, but as soon as, goddamn, we got to the edge of the street to meet up with these niggas, bro, she literally hopping away like, no, 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 we're not finna do this, we're not finna do this, we're fully, I already know, I'm, but she didn't say fully, she said, Charles, you know, I'm gonna just say that. But it's like, Charles, I already know I don't play that. You know, he, he already know I don't play that, we done been through this before, he know I don't play that shit. Like, well, what's going on, what's going on? So I told her instantly, nah, my mom like, nah, fuck that, cause I'm like, nah, nah, my mom like, nah, fuck that, they wanna fight. Let them fight. Nah, nah, we not finna do that. Y'all got back. We not finna do that. We not finna do that. So the mama like, I don't give a fuck with her. You see how many of them? You see how many it is of them? You see it, you see my kids? You see that? We not finna do this. So she like, what's going on? What's going on? So goddamn, I'm like, man, check your, check your son or whatever you got going on. Cause he came out here with all that bra, rah, rah, rah. We finna get on his ass. Like, we don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, I'm cussing him and everything from him. I'm like, he started with my son. They said something to my son. My son back here, minding his business, living his ways. Ain't nobody got no business saying nothing to my son when he ain't got nothing going on. You feel me type shit? So, boom, my mom was finna let me take off on this bitch ass nigga. And goddamn, his mama saved him from getting beat the fuck up with baseball bats and fists. Cause at the end of the day, and them niggas weren't gonna play. Cause like I said, my cousin, bro, was already on the way. So, boom, after all that, she shut all that shit down. Asked the court just bro, get on Fulio ass. Cause she literally got on Fulio ass. The whole time she talking shit to him, I'm sitting there laughing in his face. My mama ain't said nothing to me cause she know what type of time it is. Like, for real, for real, she already know. Like, we been bad as fuck. I've been bad as fuck since fucking first, second grade, getting kicked out of Martin Luther King and shit. Goddamn, hearing your kite, all type of shit. Nigga, Rufus E. Payne, all. Nigga, I've been around the way. Nigga, I got kicked out from school. Nigga, we didn't fit in. I don't fit in with you, nigga. Bro, so with that being said, bro, this is how everything started. So, boom, my cousin went round up. Um, goddamn, 
what you call? He went around there and told them boys like y'all went around up, um, with that with that shit, right with my cousin up. Yeah, don't do that shit no more, man. We gonna shut that shit down for sure, for sure. This, like I said, this like 2014, 2015, if I'm not mistaken. I know it was 20, 20, 20, 20, 2013, I'm like 14 to 15, I'm tripping. In 2013, I'm like 14 to 15, so you know at the time, like, we ain't playing with guns like that. We got them, but we ain't, we ain't shooting them bitches like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we might be having a lot, yeah, I got this thick, but we ain't up in that time. But my, my, my cousin, my, my, this nigga, 20, in his 20, I'm talking about late 20 type shit, like, Boy, come to Slay, they not fucking playing with y'all stupid ass niggas. What the fuck going on? So after that incident, we I I I, I ain't never had no problem like um out of these niggas no more. Like they'll walk by, I swear to God on my life, they'll walk by looking, I say shit, bro. They had, like they ain't even recognize a nigga. I saw Fully on hippie about that Orange Park Mall. I was out like, there with my girl and my cousin, if I'm not mistaken, nigga, like he didn't see me. He didn't know who I was, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? There was a couple niggas on Facebook. They were doing that rada rada shit. But like I said, and then the, and then I saw this nigga Fulio at the beach on what was like 4th of July. Uh, what was it, like 2016, 20, uh, 15, 2016. We were walking the beach. It was, it was, it was all of us. I was thick too. It was like 10 of us and 10, 11 of them. And nigga act like he ain't see her. Man, I, I've been left footprints in the sand, bro. I've been left footprints in the sand. And I'm not going back and forth for the nigga. How this shit got started back up was because everybody know my situation with that motherfucking KP shit, bro. So it's like, bro, he felt the need to to uh to wanna, you know, step step out of bounds and say he he made the first song he said in, in one of his little stupid ass poor ass song, um, and it got sent to me. This is how I know what's going on. He was like, uh, nigga killed KP, same thing I do to you. I'm the dude that did that. So if you gonna say some shit, say my name, fuck, nigga. You know what the fuck going on? And then what he said, uh, 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 but his, uh, somebody, his shooter still living. He said, I can't even think about it, bro. Like, but this nigga been saying little slick this and shit for a while. And that's just why I don't get along with this doodle -doo shark tail looking ass nigga, bro. That's just why I don't fuck with this skinny, dirty mop looking ass nigga, bro. At the end of the day, you filthy. You don't fucking take care of your homeboys. You get them locked up. And then that's when you want to put money on lawyers and try to bond them out and shit like that. Or when they die, you want to pay for funerals and all type of shit. You don't do shit to get them out the hood. You don't do shit to get them out of 1646. You worked your ass off to get this thing just to motherfucker do the same shit you've been doing before you even blew up. Which is nothing but dissing with your stupid ass. But at the end of the day, bro, I'm just motherfucker. I ain't come here to motherfucker bash nobody and they working what they do. Uh, and they just says, I'm on the way up and I'm doing what I got to do and I'm going to beat up. But I had to let y'all know the story, bro. If y'all fuck with what, what, what I'm saying, or y'all goddamn uh, want to tell me how y'all feel about this shit, y'all ain't fuck with me, fuck you, I don't give a fuck. If you want to talk shit in the comment, do what you got to do, I don't give a fuck. But just make sure you hit that like button, please. Get me on the motherfucking algorithm. Comment, man. Like I said, comment, tell me how you feel, nigga. How you feel? Uh, and please, hit that subscribe button. We're going up. We're on the road to 10K. We're on the road to 10K. And I appreciate y'all being faithful. The ones that have been faithful. Nigga, this bitch. Two times.